Dr. Hasato, may I request you to say a few words on this very special occasion? Thank you, Ms. Rina Rupani. Uh, very good evening the, to the Honorable Sri Nitin Gadkari, Junior Minister for Road and Transportation, Government of India, Honorable Sri Pius Koyal, Minister of Textile, Commerce, Industry, Consumer Affairs, Government of India, Honorable Sri Suresh Prabhu, India Serpa to G7 and G20, Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani, Chairman of Priya Darshni Academy, Mr. Nani Rupani, Founder and Chairman Emeritus of Priya Darshini Academy, Dr. Ragutnath Anand Marseka, Chairman and Global Awards Advisory Committee of Priya Darshni Academy, Distinguished Awardee, Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. I am deeply honored and grateful to be present at the prestigious event this evening among uh, together with all distinguished uh, recipient of the awardees to join the 2021 global award winners the priya darshni academy global award it's indeed a privilege and honor for me to receive a recognition granted by priya darshni academy for an outstanding contribution to national economic recovery this award is not only conferred upon me, but also for all Indonesian people, especially under the leadership of President Jokowi, uh, which managed to struggling to restore the economic situation in the midst of COVID-19 pandemic. I would like to express my high appreciation and profound gratitude to Priya Darshni Academy of the Government of India. This award will also reflect a high aspiration for our bilateral effort at a crucial time to control the pandemic, while at the same time accelerate economic recovery affected by the pandemic. Honorable awardee, guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, like the rest of the world, Indonesia remain to battle the, the pandemic and its impact. In addressing this challenge, the Indonesian government has introduced the holistic but adaptive politic policy measures to avoid more economic pressure while at the same time control the spread of pandemic and help those affected. Several policy measures are undertaken through delivering health, social and economic assistance and expediting the vaccinations program. Recently, Indonesia is blessed with economic growth that has been restored at 7.07 in the second quarter and meanwhile the new active cases of COVID-19 have been contained by more than 50% on the bi-weekly basis. My office as a chair of uh, the COVID-19 Handling and uh, National Economic Recovery Committee continuously improved the national policies that is based on the current situation starting with public activity restriction to reduce the spread of the virus, economic recovery policy to avoid recession, and increasing collaboration with partner countries to fight the COVID-19 pandemic together. My president has been uh, in communication with Prime Minister Modi in the beginnings uh, early this year that uh, we learned how uh, India can curb the COVID-19 in the early uh, June and then, of course, uh, we try to replicate the policy introduced by the government of India and uh, my president get the information of uh, policy that the prime minister called about micro lockdown. Then we put a similar policy that we adjust to the Indonesian situation and what we call a limited scale of social restrictions. And when the Delta variant is uh, attacking India, against my president, called again. At that time, the India was almost the active case, 400,000. And in Indonesia also, we have similar situation with at that time in the month of July, then the numbers of cases increased to 57,000 daily and almost uh, at a higher rate as well. So I think with this communication, uh, 
thankfully that uh, today's our situation is much better and i think our rt now the is less than one so i think uh, we are blessed but as well as we have to be cautious and still prepare for the next uh, mutation if there is any so uh, i think collaboration with india through this uh, distinguished awardees i think we would like to maintain the relationship so we can learn from each other to the new charter that no one has been there before so accelerating economy and addressing health problem remain high in our agenda and international collaboration is a key to win this battle together no country can deal with this situation alone and we uh, highly regard indonesia and india collaboration for this purpose honorably uh, awardee guests uh, and ladies and gentlemen in closing allow me to convey our gratitude and appreciation once again for the award that has been conferred upon me and i am humble to receive the award and uh, on behalf of on indonesian people we thank you and uh, also we congratulate the success of the 37th anniversary of global world function thank you namaste